Hey guys, this is Labs Nishmel and in today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to add animations to dividers in Visible Web Builder. So as you can see, we have this particular cool animation taking effect over here. And it's actually simple to go about this. So in Visible Web Builder, you might want to bring a layout, uh, a layer to or even a layout grid too. So in my case, I'm going to bring a layer to and then I'm going to expand this to fit the width of this particular page. Let me expand the height as well. And then I'm going to double click on this and to compute before I proceed with my animation under dividers, I'll set this to relative horizontal size, which is going to fill the entire width of my page. And then I'll set the alignment to center. So once I'm done, I'll come to dividers. And this is where I specify the animation I want to have. Now, there are actually a couple of ways to go about it. So first of all, there are a couple of these um, divider types that you can select. So um, let's say if you select blob, this is how it is going to be. Let me change the color so we see how this is. And then go ahead and then click on OK. Now this is at the top. I might want to have this come to the very bottom. So I'll set the orientation to bottom. Uh, let me just change that to bottom and then click on OK. Okay, I think let me just leave that and then preview this. You notice that there isn't there isn't any form of animation set to this. Now, the first kind of animation you can set to the divider is to change this or enable this enable entrance animation. So, I think my blob. Let me just change that. Click on OK. And let me just be sure. Okay, so let me preview this. So you notice that there was some sort of animation which was applied to this when I went about working on it. I don't know why this is messing up. Let me just bring this here again and then go through this. So that's actually one way you can go about certain animation. Let me change this to bottom and then blob again, the color to this and then enable this and then click on this. So once I preview this, you realize we have some sort of animation being applied here. But this is just once it already comes when the page is loaded. So that is the entrance animation that you can set. And then the next one is actually um, a continuous animation that you can also set. So if I double click on this and then come to dividers. Now, when you come to type and you come to the very bottom, there are two animations uh, or two types that gives you animation. The first one is the wave animated, which comes in 3D. So once I click on this and then preview this, you notice this has a continuous animation, which is, you know, um, being applied in the form of a waveform. So that is the first one. And the second one here is the next one after this, which is also wave animated. And then once I click on it and preview it, so you realize this is just in a normal waveform. But this has, you know, like about three different types of uh, wave or even four in here. So that is uh, basically how you can go about adding animations to your dividers in Visual Code Builder. Now, I must say that this option is also available for layout grid. So if you bring your layout grid in here and you double click on it, you also have dividers here, which you can use to achieve or go about doing the same thing. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. My name is Dabson Ishmael. Thank you very much for watching once again. I'll see you in the next one.